Hey guys, what's up? Zygotardy2744 here today to do an application review over the application iOrgle for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. I recently ran into this because it was featured, but it's been out for about a year. I really like this application, so I decided to do a review on it. For the iPhone and iPod Touch, it is free, available on the App Store. And for the iPad, unfortunately, you're going to have to pay $2.99. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this review. So here we are within iOrgle on the iPad here. Basically, like I said, this is the $299 version. You have the options to Home, New, Load, Edit, Share, Help, News, and Credit. And it's a very realistic uh, music box type application. It actually looks like you're in a music box. Everything's completely interactable and stuff like that. So basically, you wind up to play the song. And here's one that I created earlier today. And the sounds sound pretty good uh, with the sounds. It actually sounds very, very realistic. Um, but basically what you do is you can go ahead and create a new one. And the way you make them is actually pretty cool. But at the same time, the UI is a little hard to control in which you place the notes. But I'm going to go ahead and add a music title here and add a name. And you also have the options to have a signature and a tempo up in there. Uh, I guess autocorrect is going to change that to buy. So my name is buy for this video. But basically, you have the piano above, and the notes are based off piano notes. And you can also create chords by placing the same dots on the same lines. The grid is very small. This does come on the iPhone and iPod Touch, so if you guys can imagine, to have the full keyboard placed above, it's going to be a little hard with that smaller grid. Even on the iPad here, I'll make mistakes like now, in which I don't mean to place a dot in a place in which it will place it. But other than that, it's really easy to make the music. Um, it's pretty neat because, like I said, it's done off the same chords and notes as a piano. So if you can play the piano or you have an idea of just sitting at the piano and you can simply put together something really weird in your own creative way, you can also do that within this application by playing the notes and tempos and so on. And here if we play, I just kind of slot this one together so it's not exactly a good one, but I'll show you guys some better ones that I created with this application. You have typing mode and then the basic mode, which I prefer and which most of you guys will probably use the majority of the application. But I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'll say yes, and it'll bring me back to home in which we're going to go ahead and play it. And like I said, this is just one that I slopped together really quickly to show you guys how it works. Wind it up, and here it plays. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to play some better ones. And basically you can do anything you want in this application. If you want to play a very fast song that's really crazy, I'll show you guys a faster song at the end of this video. It's really easy to do. And if you guys want to share them, upload them to your music library and so on, you can do so through this application as well. I just find it to be a really fun application. And I find even with the iPad costing the $2.99 that it is and free on the iPhone and iPod Touch, which is kind of a weird pricing, I find it still to be a pretty cool application. Thank you for watching. This is Zygotardy 2744. Subscribe for more of our iOS devices. I'm making about daily videos now all over the iPhone, iPod Touch, as well as the iPad. Feel free to also visit in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well as check out my new website, iOSNova.com, for up-to-date iOS news and iOS 5 betas. Feel free to also leave your comments and thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is Zygotardy 2744.